We'll look at three major areas during this semester. Uh, the first one will be trigonometry and we'll take nearly half of the semester to work on it. Trigon is like polynomial, uh, like polygon, I'm sorry, like polygon. Tri means three. It's a three-sided polygon, or in other words, a triangle. And metri means to measure. So trigonometry means literally to measure triangles. When we look at triangles, we'll use the following labeling uh, notation. Usually we will label vertices with capital letters, capital A. With triangles, the side that's opposite, that will also be la labeled with the same letter of the alphabet, but in lower case. A will represent this side or sometimes the length of that side. There's uh, vertex C, then this would be lowercase c. There's vertex B, and this would be lowercase b. Our thing will measure in triangles the length of the three sides and, and the angles, the three angles. So there are six measurements in any triangle when we're studying trigonometry. Now an important thing to know is, is this important fact. In any triangle, the measure of angle A, now we'll sometimes use angle A to talk about the literal angle, the physical angle, or we'll also use that same notation to mean the measure of that angle. Here we're using it to be the measure, plus the measure of angle B, plus the measure of angle C, is going to be 180 degrees. We'll use that fact over and over again and without proof. It'll be kind of an axiom for us. But the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. A piece of software that many of you will be interested in. It's free, it's well supported, it's well respected. There's an international community that's working on it is called GeoGebra. Let me use that here just real quickly to construct a right triangle. We'll begin much of our first study of, uh, of trigonometry with right triangles. I'd like to build a perpendicular line going through this line and through this point. And then I'd like to have another point, say, up here. Now because of the order of how I've constructed this, the labeling is not traditional. Okay, let's uh, build a line segment between here and here and we'll hide this line that we used. We created this right triangle and I purposely did it uh, kind of oriented in a way that you might not usually see it. There's the right angle up here. Traditionally, instead of labeling that B, people would usually label that C. Uh, the traditional way of labeling a, a right triangle is, uh, is with the right angle being C. It doesn't have to be that way, but uh, when we talk about the Pythagorean theorem, they're certainly thinking of it being that way. So this is A and this is, uh, is B. Okay, so that means that this side, the opposite side is A, the opposite side of this angle is lowercase b, and the opposite side of this is C. And that's where that big theorem comes from, really an important one, is that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Probably the way that you're more used to seeing this triangle drawn is to have the right angle right here and this being the the base, sometimes they call it the base. So this would be 
angle B, this would be angle A, this would be side A, and this would be side C. That's lowercase c. Okay, so with the right triangle, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Another important thing to know is that in, in a right triangle, then, then these two angles, angle A and angle B, have to add up to 90 degrees. That's because the sum of all the angles has to be 180, and we've already used up 90 in the right angle. So these two angles are complementary angles. The sum of them has to add up to 90 degrees. This video, remember that labeling uh, triangles, we use capital letters for vertices. We use lowercase letters to label the sides. Um, the side opposite a vertex, the side opposite and the vertex share the same letter. It's just the one's capitalized and one's lowercase. The sum of angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. It doesn't matter which triangle it is, but the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. For right triangles, some special things happen. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We call that the Pythagorean theorem. Traditionally, the right angle is labeled C so that this C squared that we're talking about is the length of the hypotenuse. So the length of of uh, one of the legs plus squared plus the length of uh, another leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. The two acute angles in a right triangle are complementary. That means that their sum is 90 degrees. And the hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite the right angle. 